Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and today's video is the very first one in the overhaul series here for the 300 gallon reef. Um, I've said this before, it's technically like 500-ish gallons with the tub and the low boys and we'll talk about all this stuff here in a second. So yeah, I went ahead and put a poll out on the community tab, which I don't use too often and uh, I should probably start because it, it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, I want to know what you guys thought about overhauling the 300 gallon and 82 or 83 percent of you uh, thought it was a good idea because, well, I got another year or even possibly two years here and uh, the 300 is empty. Uh, you guys see the live stream video. That's what the 300 looked like two years after I originally set it up. Uh, Big Bertha, again, if you're new to the channel, I know there's a reflection here. Big Bertha um, is right here. She's big and beautiful and blue at the moment. But she is the coral destructor. She has completely destroyed this tank, literally from the inside out. <laughs> she is a monster. Great personality, great fish, very awesome. I mean, I can... I hate to admit this, but I, I do pet I do pet her. I know it's kind of weird, but uh, when I feed her, she lets me come over, or she comes over, and I get to like you know rub her top. I think it's a dorsal fin. I don't know. I don't know fish anatomy, but anyways, she chills out and lets me do that. But uh, her personality aside, uh, she is the destroyer of this tank. And unfortunately, I you know I do run a business, and when she destroys entire colonies, and I have to frag those colonies out and then sell that entire colony, or at least ninety percent of it in order to make room or continue to have room, I lose money. And uh, I I can't even get into the amount of money I've lost in this 300 because of that. So, yep, it's time to do something about it. So in this video, we're gonna go through pretty much everything. I'm sure I'll forget something, but uh, yeah, let's go to get started. Okay, so first things first, how am I going to get her out of this tank? Well, I am going to remove this rock structure and I should really turn off this damn hydroponics light, but we're gonna turn off this rock structure as well, or, or turn off, take out that rock structure as well. And the reason for that is um, I have to uh, do a lot of work on those rock structures anyways. And I'm really, you know something? I am gonna, let me just, let me get this light. Let me get this light. This is, this is too much, too much. There we go. All right, that's not really better, but okay. Uh, anyway, uh, I need to remove coral from these rock structures, and honestly, I need to just get this one completely out of there because it's super wobbly, it's been hit so many times, and uh, it's got to go. So, my plan is to... That's, oh, he's just chilling. What's up, dude? Uh, we're going to uh, take this canopy out. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second, but we're going to remove the canopy completely. Uh, I'm going to frag out as much coral off of these two uh, colony or these two rock structures as I can. I am going to trim down all the other colonies uh, just because we kind of just want to start over and not really have colonies bigger than the other ones. Anyways, I'm going to frag out as much as I can and then remove them, hopefully not dropping them in the tank because I am doing this solo. So we'll see, what, we'll see what happens. I'm sure I'll probably end up in the tank swimming with it just to get the rock structures out. But yeah, going to take them out, um, chisel off. There's a quite a bit of coral that I want to save that's kind of encrusting. Um, I want to chisel that stuff off and then power wash. Uh, definitely the left one. I might do something with this one. I don't know yet, but definitely got a power wash. Uh, you guys can see all this green. I know it's definitely green, but this is an encrusting Montipora that is killing everything. So I got to pretty much kill everything on that rock structure and then I can put that back in and put new frags on it. So that's going to be the plan to at least put this one back in and maybe just slide the far left and far right closer together and then just have three rock structures because uh, before, I don't know if you guys remember, we used to have some massive colonies like growing on the glass and uh, I don't really want to deal with that anymore. I kind of just want them to grow and then just look normal. So I might just put three rock structures in there and go from there and kind of see how it turns out. And uh, yeah, so once those rock structures are out, I'll be able to hopefully get her out of that tank. Um, I'll probably not feed the tank for a couple days or maybe I'll just chase her around. Maybe I'll put some egg crate in there to block her off to one side of the tank. Honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna put the camera up and we'll see what happens. But either way, she's coming out and she's gonna temporarily go in the 120 gallon tub. And by the way, a lot of you guys ask me where I got that tub. I don't remember. And that's the and that's the truth. I don't remember. I it's on my Google Doc somewhere. It was from a friend who sent me a link from a link and a link and a link. And I was like, hey, you wanna buy this? And then boom. I don't remember. So don't get offended if I'm not answering. I just I've said it a few times. So anyway, she's gonna go in that tub, chill out for a while. And I only got like seven minutes left on this camera. And uh, yeah, so she's gonna stay in there and I'm gonna take this opportunity to get the fox face out because he's being super aggressive. And I am gonna remove uh, the eel and that lobo. 
both the EO and the Lobo are going to go into this uh, tu uh, this low boy here. I'm going to put a cover over it, and they're going to chill in there until I relocate them or set up a different tank. Um, he's awesome, but he did kill about half the fish in this tank, and he is um, he eats a lot, like a lot more than I thought he would. And it's only an issue because it's uh, you know everybody else has got to eat, and uh, I'm starting to have nutrient issues because of it. I mean, this dude pounds. I don't know, I would say maybe 7 to 10 silver sides a day. And if I don't feed him for a couple days, he tries to eat everybody in the tank. So it's just, he's an awesome eel. He looks really cool. He's really aggressive, awesome personality, but he is a jerk. And, uh, you know, if we're going to overhaul the tank, we might as well do it right. Second fish or third fish or fourth fish is an eel fish. Either way, this dude right here, this freaking file fish. I don't know if you see him yet. Right there. He's cool, but he eats all my zoas. So he's leaving too. He's going to go swimming somewhere else. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and then we'll see what happens. If the fox face starts chilling out, I'll put him back in the tank. But either way, we'll just kind of have a bunch of tanks in there. Um, I will be getting new fish, more tanks. I just need to figure out where to get them because the price of tanks are going crazy. Issues with fish. I don't really know exactly what I want to do. I do have um, two hippo tanks over in this tank. But do I really want to have four hippo tanks in the 300? I mean, it'll look cool. Maybe. I might do that because they're not aggressive. I don't know. We'll Listen, we'll figure this out, right? So that's the plan to get Big Bertha out. Now, with the canopy down, I am going to take this opportunity to uh, replace another light. This is the third uh, XR15 that has died over the last two months. And I am going to replace all the T5 um, uh, Blue Plus bulbs, which there are going to be eight of them, um, or two, four of them, sorry. And I am going to replace those because they are kind of dimming and it's been, it's been a minute. So those got to be replaced. And I'm going to clean all the fans, clean the back, uh, those fans that are, those exhaust fans that are pulling all the air out, they definitely need to be cleaned. Canopy needs to be cleaned, and all the lights need to be kind of, you know, back, shop back to get all the dust and stuff out of them, because that's probably why they're dying. Um, anyway, so that's going to be the plan. Might as well just take care of everything while I'm doing the work inside the tank, and then put it all back together. Now, uh, my plan... Be Besides that is once birth is out, the rocks are out, I'm going to put the rock back in, and then I'm going to go through and just put frags on the rocks. So the, say there's three pillars there, we're just going to start off with one inch frags and kind of just start the tank over. Go from there, see what happens, and uh, you know, enjoy the tank again. Start doing updates because a lot of you guys are complaining I'm not doing updates on this tank. Well, there's, I mean, there's nothing to update. Um, and then I don't feel very good about the, t the tank anymore. It just doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me anymore just because it's been frag to all end it's been destroyed and it is a business part of the you know aspect of the business and you know i kind of want to get that feeling back so that's going to be the plan that's what we're going to do now uh the next video uh, i am probably going to do voiceover for the majority of these just because i can record 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 and then uh, i can just edit all that stuff do voiceover and you guys can see it maybe throw music to it kind of do some old school video uh, that i did before and uh yeah so i'm gonna get started probably tomorrow and uh the next video should be out i would say within a week or so just depends on when i can sit down but you can follow me on instagram i will post pictures on instagram while this process is going before the videos come out and uh yeah so that's about it we're what, eight minutes in um it's time to get to work i got a ton of orders going out today and uh, appreciate all the support on the 3d printing um the delay right now is about one to three weeks not really anything I could do about that. Uh, some of you guys uh, get very mad <laughs> that you order something and it doesn't ship uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have, I don't really know what to say about that other than I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, either way, I really appreciate the support, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna do a couple Q and A's to get that up for you, and don't forget the live stream is tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, peace.